Hello, YouTube. I'm Dr. Fox. Today, I'm talking about bacterial vaginosis and pregnancy. Bacterial vaginosis is a very common infection for women in their childbearing years. That is between the ages of about 15 and 44. It's caused by having too much of a specific type of bacteria in your vagina. If you have bacterial vaginosis, you have a bigger risk of pelvic inflammatory disease, which means that your uterus can be infected. This can be make it more difficult to get pregnant. Doctors still don't know exactly what causes bacterial vaginosis. We know that it's not a sexually transmitted disease, but we also know you are more likely to get it if you are sexually active. Also, we know that if you have bacterial vaginosis and you don't get treatment for it, you are more likely to get sexually transmitted disease or STD as well. Even though we don't know what causes it, we know that you have a higher chance of getting it in certain situations. There are, if you are having sex with a new partner, if you are having sex with more than one person, if you use a douche when you clean your vagina by squirting water or a product inside it, if you have an intrauterine device or IUD, which is a kind of contraceptive, especially if you have irregular bleeding, and lastly, if you're already pregnant. Although some women have no signs, that means visible indications of bacterial vaginosis, others do. If your bugger has a strong fishy smell or there is a thin white or gray substance there, you may have bacterial vaginosis. Other signs are that the outside of the vagina itches and there is a burning feeling when you do a wee. If you have any of these signs, you should go to a clinic to have a test. Okay, first question. What happens if you have bacterial vaginosis when you are pregnant? Firstly, you should know that you are more likely to get bacterial vaginosis when you are pregnant than when you are not. This is because of the hormonal changes happening inside your body. Although you can have treatment for bacterial vaginosis while you are pregnant, the infection can cause harm to the baby inside you. Your baby is more likely to be born premature before 37 weeks and to be underweight when she is born which means she is less than approximately 2.5 kg. Most of these things can cause health problems for her. If you think you have bacterial vaginosis when you are pregnant, tell your doctor as soon as possible. They will check your vagina and take some of the liquid in it to be analyzed. If you have bacterial vaginosis, you can take antibiotics either orally in your mouth or as a pill that you put on your vagina. It's important you do this as soon as possible because the treatment can also help protect your baby. You mustn't have sex again until you've completed the treatment. And if the signs come back, you go to the doctor. Okay, next question. How can you protect yourself against bacterial vaginosis? You can do several things to protect yourself against bacterial vaginosis. Mostly, remember that the more you have sex, the more people you have sex with, the more likely you are to get bacterial vaginosis. Ideally, you and your partner should only have sex with each other. Secondly, have protected sex, which means using a condom. Lastly, be careful when you are cleaning your vagina. Some women think dashing is necessary, but it isn't. In fact, it can damage you because it removes the good bacteria in your vagina, which keep you safe. Don't use soap, just warm water and only wash the outside, not the inside. And when you are using toilet paper, remember to always wipe from the front to the back, so you don't risk getting an infection in your vagina after you have done the poo. And if you are in the same-sex relationship, then make sure your partner also gets tested and treated. Okay, thank you for watching. See you soon.